If your son or daughter is thinking about becoming a pilot, you probably have a lot of questions. How does the training work? How much does it cost? What's the best route to an airline job? In this video, we'll break it all down into simple terms. So by the time you arrive at Pilot Careers Live, you'll have a head start in understanding the key concepts. Pilot Careers Live is the leading event for aspiring pilots and their families, bringing together experts, airlines, and flight schools to answer your questions. Think of this video as your jargon buster before you attend, so you can get the most out of the event. Before starting any training, your student will need a Class 1 medical certificate. This ensures they meet the health requirements to fly commercially and covers eyesight, hearing, heart health and general fitness. It's essential to get this done before committing to training. Some students discover that they have medical restrictions that could limit their career options. So don't sign up for anything until there's a Class 1 medical in your hands. There are two main training routes, integrated and modular. Integrated is the most direct route where students train full-time with a structured program. It's ideal for those who want an airline-focused experience. The cost is generally greater and the time frame is shorter. It will encompass all of the aspects of training that we'll go through now. Expect to pay 100 to 120,000 pounds over 18 months. Modular training allows students to complete training step by step, which can be beneficial for those who want to work whilst training or reduce upfront costs. We always recommend students pay as you fly or pay smaller quantities upfront. You'll likely pay upwards of £75,000 for this method. We'll now go through various aspects of the training. Regardless of which route they choose, all pilots must complete several key stages. The integrated courses will include all of this and the example costs we mention here relate to modular training. The private pilot license or PPL is the first big step, learning the basics of flying a small aircraft over a minimum of 45 hours with nine written exams. The cost of a PPL is in the region of 12 to 15,000 pounds. After the PPL, students must build experience, usually reaching 150 to 200 hours of flight time before moving on. There are various ways of achieving this, some more expensive than others, but budget around 150 to 200 pounds per hour. The commercial pilot license comes next. This is where training moves from what it takes to fly for a hobby to what it takes to fly for a profession. Students refine their skills and learn how to fly to a professional standard to tighter tolerances. This course is around five to 15,000 pounds, depending on the aircraft type. The instrument rating teaches pilots to fly without visual reference to the ground, for example in bad weather, using only the instruments. It's essential for airline flying and is one of the most demanding elements of the journey. Expect to pay upwards of £15,000 for the instrument rating. The Airline Pilot Standards Multi-Crew Cooperation Course and Jet Orientation Courses are all simulator-based and prepare pilots for working as part of a multi-pilot crew on modern jet flight decks, which is how airlines operate. The APS MCC and JOC will cost around five to eight thousand pounds. So what else should you budget for? It's important to factor in additional costs as training isn't just about flying. There are classroom lessons, exams and ongoing expenses. You can save money by buying used. There are lots of Facebook groups that can help with that. Integrated courses often include living and accommodation costs, but modular probably won't. Expect to spend one to two thousand pounds on uniforms, a headset and study materials, some of which you can pick up secondhand. ATPL exams will cost four to five thousand pounds and you'll have licensing fees to pay to the Civil Aviation Authority, which will likely exceed a thousand pounds. To recap, you've got integrated courses, which are one stop shops and include all the training you'll need. Modular training is generally cheaper and allows you to space it out over months or years. Despite what people might say, a good airline won't look at modular training as any less valuable than integrated courses. While training to become a pilot is a big investment, it's also a pathway to an exciting and rewarding career. If you're attending Pilot Careers Live, you'll have the chance to meet leading flight schools, ask about financing options, and get direct advice from industry professionals. Now that you have a basic understanding, you'll be able to make the most of the event. We'll see you at Pilot Careers Live.